Blessings, friends. Pastor Nick here today. I just want to point out to you as you are watching this little video, what you can't see is that this little ladybug that has my attention is going to leave exactly upon the same path that she came. I happened to notice her, and by the time I really was paying attention to her, I started videoing and didn't know she was going to go back. I thought she was going to go somewhere else, but she wound up going right back the way she came. There was a lot of ups and downs along that cord of my microphone, but we, we see that she never found exactly what she was looking for. Yes, there were some highs, there were some lows. She examined some things, but she wound up going exactly the same path that she came in on, she went back to. And what you can see as you're getting closer, making her way back to um, my Bible, the Word of God, And but she, but she skirts it. She just goes around it. She never gets in it. And boy, that is such a picture of so many today. Ephesians 5 says we're to be filled with the Spirit of God. That simply is saying that we need to be under the influence. God, by way of His Spirit, should influence our life. Colossians says that we should allow the Word of Christ to dwell richly within us. Both are speaking about influence. The influence of the understanding of the Word of God and the influence of the unction of the person of the Spirit of God in our lives. And... If we're not careful, we have a lot of highs and lows. We never find what we're looking for. Why? Because we may get near. We may skirt the word, but we never get into the word. And you, my friend, I, we need to be all in to the word of God so that it may influence every aspect of our life, that the Spirit of God, the presence of God, the favor of God may direct and feel and influence and empower to walk in the will of God. You can skirt it, but you're just going to keep going right back to what you've always done because all you've done is skirt the truth but never jumped headfirst into it. Get in the Word. Let the Spirit fill you. One gives us the understanding we need to live. The other gives us the unction or the power to live in that understanding. And we need both. And I tell you, you can't live this life and skirt the Word of God and expect anything different than what you already have. And some of you are skirting it. And I, I pray that doesn't describe you. If it does... And your life's been a roller coaster of a lot of ups and downs, and you find yourself just going right back to where you've always been. There's a likelihood that you've skirted the word, but never jumped into it and let it dwell richly in you. And I encourage you today make a commitment that you are going to get into the word of God, and you're going to learn it, and you're going to want to know it. And you're going to ask God to teach you it. And you want it to dwell richly, have full reign in your life so that you're not just skirting it, but you're jumping into it and watch the difference that it makes in your life. Hey, it's a lifetime investment. You can't expect things to be radically transformed in every dynamic of your life today because you got in the Word of God yesterday. No, you have commit that I'm giving my life to know Him and to make Him known, and He must teach me and fill me and influence me, and I'm not going to skirt it no more. I'm getting into it. God bless y'all. I pray these things help you.